All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak with Dodge. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? Title of this blessing is There is a thing called fate. Okay? The sooner you realize that in this truth, the better you will be. Okay? In this truth, you gotta get that knowledge. Okay, what's the knowledge is that fate okay exists. Okay? Then you get the wisdom. Okay, and then you get the understanding of why things are the way that they are. Because there's a thing called fate. And that fate was before the world began. Okay? The one who the world ignorantly calls God, he had a plan before he made this earth. Okay, he had a blueprint. And he, with this blueprint, he this goes along with his plan of what he wants to happen. Okay? So there is no such thing as you control your own destiny. You feel like it, but you're just on a roller coaster. Okay? There is no thing called free will. It's called fate, okay? And the word fate means the development of events beyond a person's control regarded as determined by a supernatural power, okay? Destiny, okay? It says to be, to be destined or de be destined to happen, turn out, or act in a particular way. Okay? Then it says, predestined, preordained, be destined, be meant. Everything that happens is meant to happen. It says, be doomed, and America is doomed. Esau, Edomites are doomed. That's just the fate that they have. It says, be sure, be certain, be bound, be guaranteed. Okay? This is Isaiah 46 and 9. Remembering the former things of old, or remember the former things of old, for I am God, okay? Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. So the Lord from the very beginning, he declared the, the end, okay? The end times, the last days. Which those last days are the end of Esau's reign. Okay? And the, the, the uh, after the last days, that's when our people, okay, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the biblical Israelites, we're going to rule this this planet, and we're going to we're going to rule it in righteousness and have everlasting life. Okay, so so the fate of everything was determined from the beginning, the plan. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. So there are things from before time, okay, that were determined to be done, but they haven't happened yet. Okay? It's called prophecy. It's the word prophecy means to say before. Okay? Which the one who the world ignorantly calls God, he's the ultimate prophet, man. Yahweh Shah, ultimate prophet. 
okay saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure so whatever the Lord purpose that's what that's what he wants and that's what's going to happen it's going to stand and there's nothing that's going to change that okay me doing this video this video was was meant for me to, to, to do this video way before I was even uh, born that's a part of faith okay if you're a part of the elect you was a part of the elect before you was even born okay Ephesians 1 and 9 having made known unto us the mystery of his will because that mystery is a secret and everybody can't get or grasp the fact that faith exists okay it's a mystery nobody no nobody understands what the Lord wants okay according to his good pleasure which he has purposed in himself and this is his plan that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together and all and one all things in Yahweh okay see what the word dispensation mean Strong's G 3622 Oikonomia Oikonomia says the management of a household or of household affairs specifically the management oversight administration of others property the office of a manager or overseer stewardship stewardship administration dispensation okay that in the dispensation dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather and one all things in Yahweh Shah, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Okay. This is uh second Peter three and nine. It says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward that not I mean not willing that any suppress but all that all but that all succumb to repentance and the, the ones that are going to come to repentance are the ones that were meant to, to, to get it that was meant to come into this this house okay which that's the elect and when the elected are are, are sealed okay that's when a lot of these other prophecies are going to start coming to pass. And that's when the one who the world enemy called Jesus Christ, he's going to come back and he's going to gather his his uh, his household, his elect, and, and deliver them from, from the hell or the destruction that's about to come. It says, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who works all things after the counsel of his own will and what this scripture say this is the Lord's counsel and his counsel shall stand and he will do all that he please so who are we to tell the Lord what what he wants to do okay or what he what he he should do okay we're predestinated Strong's G, 4309. Prarizo. Prarizo. And that means to predetermine, to decide beforehand. And the New Testament of God decreeing from eternity, eternity to foreordain a point beforehand. So the Lord, from the very beginning, He already knew them spirits. He knew everything. He knew his plan. This is his plan. Okay? This is uh, Daniel 4 and 35. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. And he does according to his will in the army of, of heaven. Because what? The scripture says in Exodus 
15 and 3 that the Lord is a man of war. Okay? The Lord has an army. Why does the Lord have an army? Who is he going to fight against? This is a big scene that's about to come. Okay? It says the Lord is his name, which we know that the Lord isn't a name. His name is Yahweh. When you go into the Hebrew, okay, it's Yahweh. Okay? That says Yah, Yah, Hawa. Okay? So it says, Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Okay? So, the scripture it says, he, do, he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his hand or say unto him, What doest thou? You got to know who the Lord is fighting against. Because you got people out here who are, who are trying to say, what doest thou? Why, why, you know, that the Lord made a mistake. Okay? But you, you got to understand that that's what the Lord, <laughs> that's how the Lord made things. Okay, I'm going to get this scripture, Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord has made all things for himself, yet even the wicked for the day of evil. Okay? Because you got people out here, okay, in particular, a sect of people that oppose everything that the Lord made. And guess what? That's fate. They were, they were predestinated to, to turn out the way that they are, to act in a particular way, okay, to be doomed. So you have people from the very beginning that was made to be the wicked, okay? For the Lord. And you, who, who are you to say what why did the Lord do that? Because that's what that's what the Lord wants. Okay? This is uh Romans 9 and 9. For this is the word of promise. The word promise means guarantee. At this time will will I come and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived. By one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God, according to the election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calls. It was said unto her, unto her the elder shall serve the younger. It is, it, is, it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Lord hates Esau, but he loves Jacob. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with, with God? With Yahweh Basim Yahweh because he made it this way? God forbid. Yahweh Basim Yahweh forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. It's why you have to fear the Lord. Okay? If this, is his, this is his purpose. So then it is not of him that wills, nor of him that runs, but of Yahweh by Samuel side that sows mercy. For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised you up. So the Lord, the Lord raised up Moses. I mean, yeah, Moses to go up against uh, Pharaoh, okay, for his purpose. That I may sow my power in you. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy. And whom he will he hardeneth. And the Lord hardened the so called white man. Thou will say then unto me. What? Why doeth he, he yet find fault? For who has resisted his will? And this is the Lord's will. That he made the wicked for the day of evil. That the Lord made you the way that you are for a reason. Nay, but O oh man, who art thou that replies against God? Y'all but some y'all side. Said a thing formed, say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? 
So a potter can do whatever he wants. And you don't you don't say that that potter is wrong. But when the Lord does whatever he wants, now you want to question it. You don't want to believe. It's not up to you to believe, first off. If it's meant for you to believe, then guess what? <laughs> that's your fate. Okay? Because that's how things was destined to happen. If the Lord wanted to kill you because you turned your ear from listening to this video, you say, ah, oh, that ain't the truth. Well, guess what? The Lord can have you get destroyed because that's what... You can't say that you didn't hear the word. Okay? This is a supernatural force that we're dealing with. Okay? Out of this world so far beyond what you have ever been taught. Okay? Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. Okay? And this, this scripture can be broken down in different ways. Okay? I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So all that bullshit that you think, oh, you know, is just a wicked person. Well, the Lord made that person to be who they are. Okay? Because it's all fate. Isaiah 14 and 24. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely I have thought, so shall it come to pass. So whatever thought comes to the Lord's mind, that's what he wants. And as I has purpose. So shall it stand. So this is the Lord's purpose. Now, I brought out 2 Peter 3, and I got to get this, okay, to end the lesson. Okay? This is uh, 2 Peter 3 and 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day... Is with the Lord is a thousand years. And a thousand years is one day. So a thousand years to us is one day unto the Lord. Okay? So the Lord, like I said, he has a plan. And his realm and of, of, of doing things is totally different from the realm that you understand in your world. Okay? Once you get that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and you understand that, hey, slavery in the Bible, okay, or slavery is in the Bible, and slavery actually happened, because that's the fate that the Lord made for his people going off, okay? Everything that, that happens, if you end up passing away or end up getting sick, you just have to understand that that's the Lord's will, okay? And and if he wants to heal you, okay, then that's what he that's that's a part of his his plan. Okay? We don't know what the Lord Um is gonna do to tomorrow. Okay? And the Lord could come back tomorrow. But we have to we have to continue to worship the Lord and hope and pray that he continues to have mercy on us and that we're those people whom whom the Lord uh, chose from the very beginning. So with that, man, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom till next time.